Hello, many thanks for joining me for another Somerset Relay review. Um, the summer is finally here. Um, I haven't done a review all weekend, but um, uh, it's uh, now uh, Sunday night. Uh, Sunday the 22nd, I believe, or 23rd, maybe 23rd, 22nd of July, 2012. Um, so uh, it's beer time. You have to have some beers when it's sunny, it's the law. But I've got here a beer I've had before. It's from Timothy, Timothy Taylor's Brewery. It's the Landlord Strong Pale Ale. Um, it does say strong pale ale, but it's only a 4.1% ABV, which is great, fantastic. Brown 500ml bottle. Um, I can remember really liking this beer as well, so, right. I've got this new bottle opener, and it's not brilliant. Uh, well, the crown's disappeared. I'll get it for you. Sorry, I'm back. Um, as you can see, it just kills the uh, crown completely, which is a shame. But um, not that I keep them. Anyway, let's get it in the glass. Enough babbling. It's the sun, that's my excuse. Makes me babble. Yeah, my uh, my mum and dad went away on holiday uh, once and come back and they said, oh, got to try this beer, Timothy Taylor's Landlord is fantastic. So I bought a bottle ages and ages ago, long before I started reviewing and re I remember liking it. So it's uh, sort of golden in colour, golden to sort of copper in colour. One finger, just off white, nice foamy head, nice bit of carbonation in there. Looks absolutely wonderful. Let's get the nose in. That smells absolutely gorgeous. It smells, it's one of those <clears throat> beers that smells once again like a brewery or a beer festival. You get that lovely yeasty, hoppy, malty, all in one just like spilt beer, you know, the, where the people have been uh, tapping their casks and that. And there's beer spilt and you can smell it and it's just, you also get a bit of straw in there. Get it on your nose. It's kind of a sweet. It's just a lovely, it just smells absolutely gorgeous. Just sweet, grassy, straw. Slightly malty. Even a bit of sort of nice uh, digestive biscuit in there. That smells just oh, just fantastic. Anyway, I'm going to dig in. Cheers. So refreshing. I think I've got it a little bit too cold. It does say enjoy between 11 and 13 degrees. Well, I've got this at about eight, so it's a little bit too cold for the beer, but. That is so refreshing. You get a sort of sweet, coppery flavour. Uh, by coppery I mean sort of a slight metallic but not like um see I'm a plumber so well I'm, one of my jobs is a plumber. Um, <clears throat> so I tasted copper before when you're you know you just uh, licking your finger off and you've been rubbing copper pipes. It does taste like that. Very, very fresh spring water you can taste in that. It's nice, it's got a lovely bitter aftertaste to it. Very, oh, this is a really good beer. Lovely zestiness left on the side of your tongue. Landlord is a classic pale ale. Brewed in the traditional way from Knoll Spring Water. Oh, yeah. 
using only the finest Golden Promise malted barley and best possible leaf hops. Pardon me. The full flavoured brew has won many awards both at brewers exhibitions and Great British Beer Festivals. It's best drunk between 11 and 13 degrees. Uh, now try it on draft. Would love to. Um, Noel Spring Brewery, Cayley. Uh, www.timothytaylor.co.uk I'll let you have a look at the bottle there. And the neck. Taylor's. And the back. You don't want to pause it and read it. Fantastic. That is a really, really good beer. It almost tastes a little bit um, like the Shepherd Dean yeast or, or strain of yeast has been used in this. Um, I, I'm not the world's biggest fan of Shepherd Dean beers, but in this beer somehow it really, really works. It's just a really, really refreshing, tasty pint. I really like that. That, for me, is going to get an 8 out of 10. Fantastic. Thanks ever so much for watching. Love to see your comments in the comments box, and I'll always answer. And I hope you join me again soon for another review. Cheers.